<sighs> Bullet loaded! Yes, thank you. Then they give weight to a moral argument. I think. And investigate him. Have you thought of just talking to him? It's very, very professional. Mm. Car keys, please. You don't seem his type at all. And no stranger to the art of prestidigitation. <laughs> I can see you're naked. Oh! Some Eccles cakes, please. Come on, I want to show you the clue. Mm, that could work. Yes, OK. OK. Fräulein Greta Kleinschmidt. Mm. She oh. works with us. Oh, I could entertain. No, 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 please, no, no. I just need to get back into practice. Oh, no. Big thumbs up from me. Uh, dig up as many bodies as you like. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's been bothering me. Uh, he says he's uh, Bildad the Shuite. You're talking to the angel who fooled Nefertiti with a lone caraway seed and three cowrie shells. Aha! Okay. What if I were to just take these Shostakovich records without paying for them? What's for lunch? What would you say to some crepes? And Twitter and Grinder, whatever they happen to be. Eccles cake? Oh. Thank you. My clue. And jiggery pokery. Yes, I can see that. Flawless. Oh, God. Agrency? Urgency. How's your naked man, friend? He's not. He's not my. Well, he's certainly not naked anymore. I mean, the opposite of when you say, I don't like this place, it feels spooky. This is an embassy. His children? Yeah. Sitting on it. <laughs> yes, I know who you are. I... Hmm. Isn't she a beauty? I bet you did. I'm sure I did. Oh, You see, it's not that I mind, Joe. Probably you can't do 90 miles per hour in central London. Why not? You'll get us killed. Yes, exactly. Cherry for me, please, a large one. I'm... English. Mr... McFell. Pash on her, and doesn't know how to conduct a courtship. Shall we send up the sous chef? I'm what's known as a newspaperman. I want a proper apology. No, with the little darn. She had balls. <laughs> oh dear, something smells rather ripe. This is a human police officer who's just popped in to have a quick look at a cup of tea. I think it may be a clue. Où est la plume de la jardinière de ma tante? It has to belong to the young lady you hit with your car. In your finger? No, it was in your ear. It was in your pocket? It was, it, it was close to your ear. Well, a sort of, a sort of natural dexterity. Come on. Are you going to say enough? Why does he need to be on a phone? Possibly. Clue? Right! <clears throat> so, not technically. <laughs> Every day, it's a getting closer. No. Well, I asked him for a rubber duck. I made the Archangel Michael miracle me a towel. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'd performed too many frivolous miracles. <laughs> You hit someone. Pounds. Eight pounds and 75 pennies. But you understood me. We had crepes. No, no. I am. But rescuing me makes him so happy. I am. Got any better ideas? Got one single better idea? It's terrible, buying the bodies. But I'm trying to... The softest touch. The one who went native. I did a big... I lied to heaven about it. Sounds a bit unlikely. Oh. 
fractional half a miracle we have ever performed. Yes? No, just forget about Gabriel. <laughs> I'll try, but I find it kind of hard to forget things. Do you indeed? Yes, she did. Oh, yes, I keep a derringer in the bookshop inside a hollowed out book. Hmm. You are... Jim? Sorry, sorry. They seem nice. Oh. <laughs> a mason. For instance, turning a common turnip into an inkwell. <laughs> yes. I've had quite enough of it. Do you actually think you aren't? Because I <laughs> gave it away. You what? I gave it away. The, the plume? The... On. Give me the facts. Absolutely tickety boo. Sometimes people call me Gabriel. Shh. And tell that. But it is a clue. Perfectly ordinary invitation with no hidden agenda of any kind. We're having a ball. I could have taught you it's important. I'm afraid I'm hosting a business meeting. I'll be with you in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Oh, good. <laughs> Shoemaking and obs. You're being silly. Horse means just for what we ink slingers call atmosphere. Well, that's a foot, so it's definitely not a foot. <laughs> Au revoir, Mr. Phil. Good morning, officer. <laughs> Quite like the apology, actually. I might have done a miracle. Banana fish gorilla shoelace with a dash of nutmeg and... I mean... In the cellar was very clever. She wrote books, novels, Jane Austen. Yes. No. But no one would ever... Jolly good, good idea. Thank you, Jim. Carry on. Mm. Our car. Watch the, watch the road! I'm not a cult. It's you! Dear me. I haven't seen you since... the flood? Then, may I ask why you aren't crying? <gasps> I got carried away. Yes. Not another word. Wait and see. I think... I may have just started a war. He has a permit, you see! I just want to see you young people enjoying yourself. Indeed you can. Very nice. But if you won't, you won't. Yes, but there is a boy. He's over there, writing a rude word on a description of a dinosaur. See? This is why I don't go to the pub. Please, please, I'm actually begging you. You've no idea how demeaning that is. This the tiny. Well, if you must know, it was the crepes. Dressed like that. I have standards. It is a bit damp. Bravo! I paid you for 40 bucks. No. Bebop. Yeah. <laughs> a little higher? That's what's that man doing up there?